So this is Queen Anne Bridge. It's in walking distance of where I grew up on Queen Anne Road, actually Queen Anne Bridge Road. But when I was a kid, I could ride my bicycle, I could walk here, and there would be fishermen up on this bridge, up on the deck. The bridge was crushed in 1962, 63, somewhere around there. I actually remember I was a kid. I was in kindergarten. It got crushed on one end by a Mack truck. So in the uh, subsequent years, fishermen, predominantly African Americans, would use dip nets. It's probably the only place I've ever seen these dip nets used. They suspended them on booms. The nets were basically um, these kind of flat, uh, triangular things. They dipped them in the water. They flipped the nets up from time to time. And when the perch are running, they're able to fl uh, flip the fish right up out of the water. There were so many fish sometimes running through here that we could scoop them up in buckets. Sometimes we would wade up into the shallows, roll our sleeves up or roll our uh, pants legs up and we would uh, run up into the shallows and collect fish. Um, and so when I was a kid there would be guys up here um, shooting, the, uh, shooting the fat and fishing and collecting uh, news of the neighborhood. Uh, in later years, actually, things changed and they welded a cage over the bridge itself so that nowadays you can't even get on to the bridge itself. By the way, I'm standing now in Prince George's County, but on the other side of this bridge is Anne Arundel County, right on the border, basically. So this old fishing hole formed my early ideas about what the river was, um, my relationship with the people who used the river for fishing and angling uh, evolved from the point of this bridge. And ironically, it's not unusual even today as an adult, if I'm walking along the banks where people fish now, um, people call me Hoppy, which means that that's somebody that I grew up with or somebody who knows me through a, a chain reaction of friends and extended family. So in a sense, I'm a townie because the home base for my town as I was growing up was basically this bridge. Um, and this is where I connected with the river at my earliest years. We could use this as a swimming hole, as a fishing hole. Today we use it as a kayaking destination. So Queen Anne Bridge, which appears sometimes in history books as a defunct and gone bridge, is actually very much alive, even though its utility is pretty limited now.